What's up guys? Welcome to Underground Reactions. So I decided like I'm gonna start doing underground bands that not a lot of people know about at least once or twice a week from now on. This is gonna be the first like episode in the series. It's weird calling it an episode, but I, I guess it's an episode. Um, but yeah, Underground Reactions is gonna be the series for bands that not a lot of people know of, uh, bands I just recently discovered. And yeah, man, um, we're gonna be checking out bands I hope that you enjoy and are like hidden gems out there in the world. But anyways, on to The Dark Adam. So The Dark Adam, is all made by one person. His name is Florent Goldman. I hope I'm saying that right. I think he'll leave his links here in the, the comment section below. So give, definitely go check him out. Yeah, this guy does all the artwork for himself. He does all the mixing and mastering for himself. Um, and the music sounds really good. You'll hear that in a minute. Yeah, he, he doesn't actually play the instruments. I don't know if he has experience with the instruments or not, but um, he definitely knows how to write them out. So he does all MIDI instruments, so like the drums are, you know, a MIDI plug-in, the guitars are MIDI, the bass is MIDI, all that, you know, it's all programmed. I think some people have given him some shit for it before, they're like, oh, if you can't actually play it, then why are you doing it? But the, the music he comes up with is so creative and it's unique as hell, so I think it's like, you know, who gives a shit that he doesn't actually play the instruments? Um, he writes and composes really good music, which... You know, back in the day, that's how music was done. You'd write it, compose it, and you'd have somebody else, someone else perform it for you. So, um, anyways, I think he uh, he's doing a really good job. This album that we're checking out came out like a week ago. He's already got a thousand streams on it for, uh, for Spotify. And yeah, man, I'm excited to just get into this and share it with you guys. Shout out to you, Florent. Um, I think you're doing a really good job here, man. So, okay, so the two songs he recommended were Synchronicity and Doomsday. So let's go check those out. Uh, if it'll play. There we go. By the way, check out that fucking artwork, man. Very atmospheric, just like the uh, the artwork is displaying here. We got a big old buildup coming. <clears throat> Yeah, gentastic, baby. Let's go. I don't know what that guitar MIDI he's using, but that shit sounds real as hell. And I'm 
don't know what he's doing to the drums, but uh, I think I used the same same drum plugins. They don't sound as good on mine. <laughs> A whole lot of craziness. I don't know what the fuck's going on now. <laughs> Definitely a very MIDI solo. <laughs> it's like a haunting breakdown right there. I hope I don't have the volume up too loud. Sorry, I'm over here jamming. I don't even know if it's blowing out the fucking microphone or not. Wow. So that was just a whole bunch of craziness. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know how to follow that. Ooh, listen to that riff in the background. I like that piano part in the back right there. I don't know how you come up with this shit, man. <laughs> Some interesting noises in there. <laughs> Fuck. It's kind of hard to follow some of this stuff, but I mean, that's gent for you, right? Just follow the China.
Ooh, that lead. It's a sick lead right there. I mean, a lot of these leads are really sick. Oh, that fucking switch up. Oh, dude, come on. You could have repeated that one more time. That was just really big and epic. I like that part. I would try to cover this on drums for you, man, but I'm not that good yet. That was just insanity. All right, so that was The Dark Adam, and those are two songs off of his new album, uh, Stargate Synchronicity. <laughs> He's always coming up with these complex, crazy names, and uh, you can check him out on his you know, his YouTube profile. You can check him out on Facebook. I see he's very active on Facebook. But yeah, guys, go check him out. Go follow his stuff. And hopefully he'll come on this video and link his uh, profiles and stuff in the first comment below. I'll pin it for him. So it'll be at the top for everybody. But anyways, let's talk about the pros and the cons of this. So the pros for it, it's obviously jet-tastic, man. I mean, it's, it's fucking crazy wild. It's got all the down tuned guitar riffs it's got breakdowns um obviously because it's you know midi instruments everything is tight on time it's all programmed to be a perfectly performed performance so you know obviously it's gonna just sound almost robotic but um yeah i mean really if i wouldn't have if i wouldn't have told you that it was uh all midi instruments could you really have told uh been able to tell in my opinion, the way he mixes everything and masters it, it sounds fucking great. To me, it sounds like an authentic album that was recorded in a studio. Yeah, guys, like it's he does a really good job of the way he mixes and masters everything. Also, the artwork is great. He does I don't know how he does it, but like this stuff is just so when I was listening to the song, I was like looking at all this crazy crap on the screen. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? You got like a portal opening up over here, all these clouds and shit, you're in space, there's water maybe, I don't know what the fuck that is, but yeah, I thought it was just crazy to that he does, he does all this himself, so I don't know how he's able to do it in such little time, but he does, and yeah, everything was great about it. The songs were heavy. They were very unique. I didn't know where the fuck the song was going, which um, also leads us to, I guess, the cons of this. Now, the, the, the cons of these kind of songs is kind of cliche at this time. You have to be a person that actually enjoys music that has no traditional structure. I mean, there was a structure. I could obviously tell. It, it's kind of like, instead of going by like verse, chorus, verse, chorus, breakdown, the shit that we have going on now in like metalcore and just typical bands, um, you know, it's more of like a build up, release, build up, release, build up, release kind of thing. Um, and you know, you just kind of have to go with the flow of it. So you gotta be a particular person to enjoy this kind of music, or you gotta be someone that just likes this being in the background of something else you're doing, like playing games or something, or uh, you know, mowing the fucking lawn, something like that. So the actual con of it is I think for someone that's not, how do, how do I say it, like not, a, not a, a musician pretty much, would probably get lost in this. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that it'd be hard for them to pick like one particular song where they just keep going back to. That being said, these are very well written songs and i think he's got the edge over it um some other instrumental people me being one of those to where 
each both of the songs are very different and they had uniqueness to them doomsday is obviously more catchy there were there were some hooks in there that i just kind of wanted to listen to again there are parts where i wanted it to play again yeah the melodies he comes up with are honestly they really get your attention so is it a con i don't know i mean the, that's what you would say with any band where the music is so fucking crazy that uh it's hard for people to easily access you know the need to listen to it again because there's no actual hook it's got to be something you just enjoy to hear from the beginning to the end there's no particular part you're listening to the song four multiple times i guess you can say you know like a chorus would be because i know there are people out there me being one of them that would love to listen to this again and it's something that I, like I said, I would just play in the background or something while I'm driving. And I guess the only other con for this is that uh, I, there's not live people playing it. Obviously, it's MIDI. I don't really care. But I'm sure some people out there um, give them shit for it. You know, you, you can't actually play this stuff. So why are you writing it so crazy? I don't know. I don't know what their argument is. I just know that there are people out there that uh would hate on anybody for any reason and one of the reasons they want to hate on his music is because he writes it all midi and not actually play the instruments i think i was one of those people in a, in a way like when i first heard of the dark adam i asked him are you gonna play a guitar playthrough or something like that on youtube and he's like oh i don't actually play the guitar and i was like what the fuck <laughs> what what's it what you you have this music and you don't actually play it um, that's kind of like where I was a long time ago, years ago when I first heard about his music. I don't know, over the time I've listened to a couple of his songs and each time I notice they're just getting better and better. And I mean, sometimes I listen to it, I'm like, how the fuck does he make it sound this good when I, an actual guitar player, cannot make it sound this good over here? And it kind of pissed me off and made me just want to like improve myself and step up my game. So. Um, again, this is The Dark Adam. You can check him out on YouTube. There will be links below, hopefully. And yeah, guys, uh, I hope you really enjoyed his music. I, I thought it was really cool to check out. This album was honestly probably the best thing I've heard out of him. And yeah, you should definitely go check it out. Just search up The Dark Adam and Stargate Synchronicity here on YouTube. And yeah, there you go. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Underground Reactions. Um, leave a like for the video and don't forget to comment below what you thought about the music and Suggest me some bands that not a lot of people are listening to I prefer something that's on YouTube so that way we can actually watch a video For that band um, so that would you know help them a lot too. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you on the next video